what's going on beautiful people thank you for tuning in once again you guys already know the message why i make these videos one family one heart one love speaking of one love we're gonna talk about how to open up uh, your chakras right the chakra system is a system uh, as far as I know is developed uh, at some point in the development of Hinduism uh, it's an energy system it's basically the way the force the way the life force flows through you right and um, the life force flows through everything it flows through these trees it flows through you through me uh, we're all different manifestations of the same source energy and if you want it to flow nice, and the way you know that is if you're happy, you're feeling good, you're feeling loving, things are going well into your life, then you gotta open them up. There's seven energy centers in your body. And all of us, due to the way we live in modern society, uh, our, our chakras all fucked up and, and just completely unbalanced. And some chakras are way too active and some are way too passive and some are, you know, most of them are blocked right the energy is blocked and so you feel anxiety and you feel um, low self-esteem low self-worth life is like shit everything's shit like the world is a mess and everybody's trying to come after you and all of that right if you open up your chakras you open up yourself to the source energy uh, and you open up yourself for love and happiness and joy you're gonna get a lot of that because and it's, it's gonna happen effortlessly because you're open right so um, starting with, you have seven chakras, right? The first one is at, at, the, at your spine, right? Like right, right here, right? Um, this one is called the root chakra. It's associated with survival. And the way it's usually blocked is if you have some kind of fear, um, fear, right? Any kind of fear, especially fears that have to do financial stability, um, that have to do with like, am I gonna pay my bills? Um, so yeah, a lot, of, a lot of it is like fear of, and a lot of us are stuck in that, even though we don't need to. But a lot of us are stuck in that survival, am I gonna pay my bills? And even if you're paying your bills and you're comfortable, a lot of us, we're still in that survival mode. We're still greedy, we still want like, you know, we don't feel stable financially. And the way to open up your root chakra, first of all, is to try and be financially well, that's number one, uh, but the other thing, uh, is you can go in ground like you can just take off your shoes I do it pretty much every other day I take off my shoes and I go walk in nature on grass or something you get release some of the negative energy in you and pick up some of the positive energy and you feel close to earth feel grounded right it's the root chakra you feel like you're earth like you're connected to earth right um, and the other thing is like even if you have financial stability, you can still be in a survival mode. Just realize abundance. There is enough for everybody to go around and there's enough for you and way more even. And if you just open up yourself to it, you'll receive it, okay? So that's the first chakra, how it's blocked, how to deal with it. Second one is the sex chakra. And this one is associated, it's located basically around, like around your groin area, right? And this one is associated with pleasure uh, sexual pleasure or like dancing so hips right like if you can if you can't move your hips and you're, you have rigidity in your hips chances are you can't you can't experience pleasure and it's funny like a lot of people are having sex but they're not even really enjoying it you know they might enjoy like five seconds of that orgasm but it's not as intense because their their hips are too rigid most people I mean look at them they're just walking around like this the majority of people just you know rigid hips rigid everything um, and so it's your ability to experience pleasure, but also to create, to be creative. So um, it's if you if you feel like you can't, you're not creative at the moment. We're all creative. We all have something to do here. Um, if you're like creative, like for example, making videos is creativity. You have art, music, or something. Uh, if you feel like you're creative, you're able to create stuff. Then that means you know you and you feel pleasure. Like you listen to music, you feel pleasure. You have sex, you really feel pleasure. You know, you're not just having it because, well, okay, oh, I should have sex because everyone's having sex kind of thing. Or like you have your music on, but really you're not experiencing pleasure or like dancing, right? The way to open up this um, this chakra here, which, you know, can be blocked in many ways, sitting down, uh, sexual repression, feelings of guilt about sexual attraction, 
um, and also rigidity, like we talked about that, um, and feelings, generally feelings of guilt, like you're guilty about pleasure, you know, like you're guilty, like when you have sex, like you might feel guilty about having pleasure, or, or you might just feel guilty about pleasure, I don't know why, that's instilled in us, a lot of us, not all of us, a lot of us, definitely for me, sexual repression as I was growing up, I don't know why, I don't know what we, ha like, yeah, you know, so feel pleasure, feel pleasure in its full effect and create creativity and dance dance okay dance and move your hips move your hips okay move them all over all over right I feel like if you if you start like you know just move your hips all right move your hips like pretend like you're humping just hump the air dance put on some music um, I feel like that opens up this area as well experience pleasure and create and don't feel guilty about it uh, your third chakra is located here solar plexus and that's so the associated with power and ego okay um, and it's uh, when I say ego of course I mean it's your place in the world you see so it's like how do I feel about myself how do I feel about this character that I'm in right now this avatar this Saeed character how do I feel about Saeed do I like this character is he confident is he able to make his way through the world is he able to um, be a leader is he able to leave his mark on the world that's your confidence right and this is usually blocked by feelings of shame you feel low self-esteem somebody when you were a kid told you you're a piece of shit you're never gonna amount to anything maybe your dad told you that um, or you heard it from your friends you got bullied when you were a kid all of us have different different my next video after this one that I'm gonna make don't know when I'm gonna post them because I post them randomly it's gonna be about self-esteem um, but this one is associated with self-esteem, so it can be blocked. All of us have this blocked, right? So a lot, most people have anxiety. Anxiety is such a big thing. Anxiety, a lot of it gets stored in your stomach. This is your power, your power center right here. And if you deep, breathe deeply and you feel good and powerful, you feel good. So things to do to open up the solar plexus, cold showers, cold showers. Because when you go into a cold shower, <laughs> You breathe so deeply, so deeply, and you just get all this area, this abdominal area, and the muscles around it all active, right? And you get so much blood going there to warm your organs up. You feel, even your posture gets better in a cold shower, right? As soon as you walk in a cold shower, it just gets better. And all your muscles tense up, and you just feel powerful and amazing after a cold shower. Um, another thing is like, just do this, like beatings on the chest, and just go ape shit. Basically, go to the gym, exercise, um, feel good about yourself, walk with confidence. Um, don't be ashamed to show it. You know, even if people might think you're coming off as a douchebag, they just don't understand you at the moment. They're not there yet. They're probably rigid. Um, but yeah, just really feel powerful, feel strong, feel fucking amazing, right? Clinch your fists, go to the gym, walk with your chest high up, look up. Do a lot of this open body language just feel amazing about yourself tell yourself you're beautiful you're amazing you're sexy um, I would fuck the shit out of you um, you know like I just you're so amazing tell yourself all of these things right um, you're just tell yourself you know blow yes fucking inflate your ego as long as you have the right to inflate the fuck out of your ego because that's ego really your place in the world as long as your heart chakra is open which is number four the heart. This is the one. So you have the lower chakras. These three, they're earth-like. This is they're associated with being on earth. Then you have the heart. It connects these lower chakras to the higher chakras, which are the spiritual chakras, which we'll talk about. Um, so here, we're talking about the heart chakra, right? And the way this is usually blocked. There's a lot of things, a lot of reasons why this is blocked. Uh, but one of the ways that it's blocked is sadness and grief. You have some sort of tears inside that you have been holding. Maybe someone has died that you know, or you broke up with a girlfriend or a boyfriend, and you're grieving. You're still grieving, but you're not crying. You're not letting it go. You gotta let go. If you have an empty, you have a cup that's full. You gotta empty it before you put the water. Before you pour the water again. You see? You gotta empty. You gotta let go of the sadness and the grief and cry, 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 and let it all go. Let the grief go. Then you can experience joy and pleasure. Empty that cup to experience. Open up your heart. Okay, 
um, the other thing to do that is go to Mother Nature and just take walks on a daily basis in nature. Love is there. The trees and the plants, they're so peaceful and loving and they love you and they're alive and they speak. Honestly, like, I, I cannot go with a day without nature. At least one hour. At least more lately. More. Um, because there's so much love in there and the trees love you and it's just they, they radiate positive loving energy right so let go of the sadness let go of the grief spend time in mother nature with flowers um, listen to music that's good to the heart Bob Marley I Bob, play Bob Marley every single day not a day goes by without Bob Marley sometimes it goes by without it and I'm like something's wrong oh I didn't listen to Bob Marley so then the next morning I wake up first thing Bob Marley Right, so get some music that opens the heart. Tell people you love them, you love them. Tell your mommy love you. Tell your friends I love you. Tell your family, tell your brother, your sister, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Tell people I love you, okay? And a lot of people are gonna be like, first like, holy shit, what the fuck? But then there's sort of some people, which I'm lucky to have in my life, like they're just like, oh, I love you too. And then it's amazing. It's amazing, right? So just tell people you love that you love them, okay? Um, so. Now, up to the throat chakra. This is uh, where, hopefully, okay, here. I gotta always adjust the auto focus. So, now, uh, we're talking about the throat chakra here, number five. Now, we're getting into spiritual chakras, right? This one, if you ever feel like you're choked here, which I certainly did, uh, not anymore because I make these videos, I speak my heart, but I did before I, went, I had YouTube. I just felt like choking here, like I had to say something, right? This is usually us, uh, it's blocked because we're not telling the truth of who we are, what's in our heart, we're not expressing ourselves. We're not expressing what God wants us to express, what the universe wants us to express, what the force wants us to express, what the computer programmer of this whole thing wants us to express. You gotta express yourself. This is the one associated with expressing your words, you see? I have, I have this is always flowing so well because I make videos. I'm always just speaking my heart. And if I love someone, I tell them I love you. And if I see something that I don't like, I say it. I, don't, I, I think this could be done better, right? Always speak the truth. Can you handle the truth? Fucking A, we can all handle the truth. Um, so speak the truth, speak your heart, express yourself, just say it. Otherwise you're gonna feel like, ah, oh, somebody's choking you there. If you feel the urge to make YouTube videos, make YouTube videos. If you feel the urge to sing and um, have mixtapes and shit, do that. But there's something in here that needs to be said, that needs to be expressed. And this is the way to free this. This is the way to open this, a throat chakra. It's a spiritual chakra because we receive these words from above, okay? And then our job here is to express them. My job is to express these words through YouTube videos. Whether I like it or not, whether you like it or not, I just have to fucking do it. I feel amazing after because I feel like this is what I'm here to do, all right? And I think I do a pretty good job at it. Um, so speak the truth. This is how it's blocked because we have to lie and deceit we're taught to lie and deceit and hold our emotions and not say the things in our heart because you know like you're taught like not to tell a girl that you love her you know because you know you don't want to be vulnerable and shit and it's like no 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 just speak your heart always right for all of you girls guys everything speak your heart say what's in here that's number five number six third eye third eye is blocked by a lot of things uh, the water the fluoride they put in our water uh, decalcifies it and you basically what the third eye helps you see the third eye sees through the illusion of Maya the illusion of this game the illusion that this is all a computer simulation that we're here to play learn experience and help one another but really it's just virtual reality it's it's all it's an information based reality and we're here temporarily we incarnate into these bodies this is what helps us through the Maya what they call Maya in Hinduism right the illusion the game the play right it's a play um, and once you see through that, then you see, holy shit, I'm me, I'm the same as everyone else. These bodies are just suits, but really we're all the same. And then that's when you have developed things like deep compassion for others, and you put yourself in other people's shoes. You see, you see yourself from a third point perspective, from an alien's perspective, as if you're an alien looking down at yourself. You start to see situations in your life as if you're an alien looking down at yourself. You start to see life for what it is, a beautiful game that we're all here to engage in and help one another. And as long as you don't see that, you stay in the ego space of, you know, again, if this is strong, your ego is strong, but you're not seeing through the Maya, it can turn ugly. You see, because you can be this powerful, confident person in your ego, in this character, but not see through that this is just a game and take it way too seriously. 
and fuck it up for yourself and the people around you. But if you see that this is a temporary game, we're here temporarily, and we just gotta do what we gotta do, help one another, express ourselves, see what God sent us here to do, what the universe sent us here to do, do it, and the mission is done, go back and come back here, play, and just play, right? The illusion, the Maya, the game. The way this is blocked, like I said, is the fluoride they put in the water, but also, um, just mass media. It's terrible for the for this. Terrible for the third eye. Mass media, right? It's I mean, it's oh my god. It's they put all these operating operating system, right? It's all an operate. We're all running on an operating system. So if you're running on the operating system of um, let's get money, fuck bitches kind of thing, yeah, like that's blocked because that's all you're thinking. That's what you're getting. So it's your thoughts. It's what you're feeding your brain, right? And most of us, we grow up shit is being given here shit just like if you put junk food here junk food is going into our brain so of course that's blocking the third eye chakra um, and the way to open it up is first of all drink good water eat good food um, listen to good shit good music good words inspiring positive getting that on that one love vibe right um, and just start to feed your mind with positive things positive and as, as far as if you're watching this video up until this point 16 minutes in good good because I can tell you're putting positive shit otherwise you would not be watching this so good you're doing good for this you're, you're you're doing good to open it I think it takes time to open this third eye chakra right exercise eat healthy of course but most importantly feed it good food and you guys know I'm a big proponent of responsible responsible use of psychedelics because it will fucking blow this wide open this is why hallucinogens, hallucinogens are illegal in the most of the world. Because if people started to do it in a responsible manner like the shamans used to do, the, old, the tribes, the native tribes used to do, we would all be aware of our, that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. We would all see through the Maya. And we would all just start to play and have fun and help one another. Okay, so, I mean, again, psychedelics, responsible use. I don't want to put the disclaimer here, but you guys already know what my outlook on, on psychedelics is. Um, responsible use will really just blow it out wide open, wide open. All right, you will just, especially like if you have an ego death um, experience or near that, oh my God, you experience that sense of oneness and togetherness and everybody's one and we're all brothers and sisters. Yeah, that should, that should just opens your third eye. So you don't have to, psychedelics, but it's a quick way to do it, responsibly. Um, and the last chakra, seventh chakra, is the crown chakra. Uh, and this one is usually blocked. So you can have all of these flowing through, but there's one thing still. It's funny that I say crown chakra and then there's a helicopter. It's a pink helicopter too. It's pretty cute. Um, okay, crown chakra. Usually this one is like your connection to cosmic energy. Your connection to the all this the energy right the force god the universe all the whole the animating force the source energy right we're all just part of different manifestations of the source energy the way this is usually blocked is by attaching too much to the game right like you know when you're attaching to something you know like like you want money so bad but you're attached to it you're attached to the outcome you gotta this is when you gotta surrender and let go right you can have all your ducks in a row six ducks six chakras but if this one, if you're not letting go, there's still resistance. You're not letting the energy flow through. You're not letting, you're not trusting in the universe. You're not trusting in God. You're not trusting in whatever, spirits, the guides, the helpers, the angels. I don't care what name it is, there is, but they're there. And they're there to help every single one of us. And if you just surrender and let go, let go of the world, you know, just say, hey, I trust there's a higher power. It's working in my favor. The universe is benevolent. Then you open this crown chakra, you're able to receive energy, and then that's when synchronicities start happening, coincidences, things just come in your way, you don't even know how, like, oh my God, you know, weird, crazy shit, because now you open yourself up. You just let go. Surrender. All right. I'm ready to receive. You're ready to receive. You open the crown chakra, you're ready to receive this energy. You trust in the universe, you trust in the, in the there's hidden external forces there to help you that are benevolent. You're good to go. You're good to go. You open this, and then boom. The force is strong with this one. Then people will look at you and be like, the force is strong with this one. Because all these chakras are aligned, they're open. And to maintain that, you just gotta do what we talked about in this video 
on a daily, on a regular basis, you know? Like, then, like dancing and exercising and just good feeding your mind good things and letting go and surrendering. These are things you want to do every day. Then that's it. You become open to life. And then life is wonderful. You realize it's a gift. It's wonderful. You realize it's temporary. We're here to help one another, to love each other, to do our part in this game, to express ourselves, see what the God is doing through us and express it. Um, and just move forward after, you know, die and go back wherever we came from and go to the next incarnation or do whatever the fuck people do after, okay? Um, so that's it. That's it. I feel pretty good about making this video. Hopefully it helps you guys. Check out my book, Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life in All Areas of Life. Uh, if you want to be a badass inside and outside the gym, these five powerful habits are absolutely principles, I, you know? Make them part of you. 22 pages, totally for free. Link in the description in the comments. I love you guys. I love every single one of you. But as always, don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.